telescopes were first invented in the 1600s, and one of the first things people looked at with these new devices was the moon. You can't blame them for wanting a closer look. The moon is filled with mysteries, and it's probably the most spectacular thing in the night sky. But when these early astronomers scanned the pockmarked surface of the moon, they were confronted with more mysteries than ever before. The closer they looked at the moon, the more questions they had. One of the most baffling mysteries of the moon is something called transient lunar phenomena, or TLP for short. Ever since the time of Galileo, people have been witnessing this phenomena on the surface of the moon. Even NASA readily admits its existence. But here's the crazy thing. After hundreds of years, no one has been able to explain it. But what exactly is TLP? What causes it? Could this be some kind of paranormal phenomena? Let's find out. What is transient lunar phenomena? A transient lunar phenomena is a strange, unexplained light on the surface of the moon. These lights can appear suddenly, and most are either red or yellow. Some have described them as foggy, while others say that TLP looks more like a mist. Although red or yellow lights are most common, people have also seen green, blue, and violet shades. Transient lunar phenomena are typically associated with bright flashing lights, but sometimes the surface actually becomes darker instead. While thousands of people have witnessed these events over the years, real footage is hard to find. This is because, while we know these lights show up from time to time, witnessing them is still pretty rare. If someone happens to have a camera rolling at that exact moment of a transient lunar phenomena, it's usually a coincidence. The most recent catalog of TLP contains over 2,250 occurrences, and that number is constantly increasing. Some reports state that flashes of light show up in the moon every few hours. The Early Observations People have been seeing strange lights on the moon since at least the 6th century, but the first properly recorded examples date back to the 1100s. On June 18th of the year 1178, monks in Canterbury described a flaming torch coming out of the moon. Some believers say they were witnessing a meteor strike that could have created what we now know as the Giordana Bruno Crater. After the invention of the telescope, these sightings became more common. In 1725, an Italian astronomer saw a reddish streak of light across the moon. In 1787, a British astronomer saw three reddish spots. In 1789, a German astronomer spotted a speck of light coming from the Montes Alps that could be seen with the naked eye. That year, the same German astronomer witnessed two bursts of light near the Mare Imbrium. In 1873, a French astronomer reported that the Kant crater had it filled with mist. In 1877, an English astronomer saw what, what he described as a phosphorescent glow coming from the Plateau crater. In 1881, a strange violet glare was spotted by a German astronomer. In 1892, an American astronomer saw some kind of luminous haze emanating from the Thales crater. The Recent Observations These observations continue well into the 20th century. Strangely enough, all of the lights seem to be coming from the same general area, the Aristarchus Plateau. By the 1930s, telescopes had become widely available to civilians as well as scientists. With so many people looking up at the moon, reports of transient lunar phenomena increase significantly. Today, the majority of these observations are made by amateur astronomers. One of these amateur astronomers was Walter H. Haas, who in 1941 noticed a moving dot of white light in the Oceanus Procellarum. These lights were even witnessed during the Apollo missions. In 1969, Apollo 11 received a message from Houston that stated, We've got an observation you can make if you have some time up there. There's been some lunar transient events reported in the vicinity of, of Aristarchus. To which one of the astronauts replied, Hey Houston, I'm looking north up towards Aristarchus now, and there's an area that is considerably more illuminated than the surrounding area. It seems to have a slight amount of fluorescence. The most recent report of TLP came from France in 1992. 
the official explanations. NASA basically dismisses transient lunar phenomena as meteor showers or space debris. Generally speaking, the field of astronomy is very reluctant to accept that these lights are real. Why? Because it goes against the science of astronomy's official stance on the moon. According to mainstream researchers, the moon is a dead husk with no activity whatsoever. Strange, unexplained lights suggest the opposite. There's something going on up there. To their credit, some astronomers have come up with a few theories. One of the most accepted explanations is something called outgassing. According to this theory, these lights are caused by gas escaping from underground cavities on the moon. However, this explanation is totally at odds with our current understanding of the moon, especially since so many astronomers think it's nothing more than a dead rock. Others believe that these lights are meteors hitting the moon. Impact flashes might explain some of the more sudden lights, but what about the transient lunar phenomena that seem to glow for extended periods of time? Other mainstream explanations include electrostatic discharges and interferences from aurora borealis. The conspiracy theories. Of course, conspiracy theories have their own ideas about what's causing these TLPs, and you can probably guess where this is going. Many believe that these lights are evidence of activity on the moon. Now, whether this is human activity or extraterrestrial activity is up for debate. Some believe that there are secret space programs on the moon that no one knows about, and that these lights are actually bases or space camps. On the other hand, there are those who believe these lights are evidence of an alien presence on the moon. While this might seem unfathomable, consider the fact that these lights have been observed for hundreds of years. Human activity can't explain these early sightings, and if you don't believe the official explanation like outgassing or impact flashes, there's only one explanation left to consider. If TLP are indeed caused by extraterrestrials, it would support the artificial moon theory and the existence of bases underneath the surface. In the end, we simply cannot explain these strange lights. If nothing else, they add to the mystery of the moon, an object that has puzzled humanity for thousands of years. Even today, Luna seems to raise far more questions than it answers. But who knows, if you have a telescope at home, maybe you'll be the next person to witness the transient lunar phenomena. Let us know in the comments if you have seen anything odd on the surface of the moon. Thanks for watching.